This is part two of a series of videos on unit conversions. This one is on multi-step unit conversions. The first video did single step conversions. Let's do a, a speed conversion. It so happens that the speed of sound in air at a particular temperature is 343 meters per second. And you happen to read that and wonder how fast is that in miles per hour? Well, here are a couple of things that you happen to know. You know that one hour is equal to 3600 seconds. So that's a conversion that will let you go from hours to seconds. You also happen to know that one mile is equal to 1609 meters. And so that's a conversion that will let you get from miles to meters. So let's use those conversions to convert from meters to second per second to miles per hour. We'll start with getting rid of the meters. Since the meters here are in the numerator, my conversion factor will have to have them in the denominator. So I'll make a funny looking one out of this relation. Multiply. I have to have the meters in the bottom. So 1,609 meters goes on the bottom and one mile goes on top. So there's one funny looking one. Now let's get rid of the seconds. The seconds are in the bottom here. They'll have to go on the top of my conversion factor. So the 3,600 seconds here has to go on top. The one hour will go on the bottom. Since these two things are equal, if I divide one by the other, I get one, and there's my second funny looking one. Now all I have to do is multiply this out. First I'll check the units though. I can see the meters divide out here, the seconds will divide out, and the units that are left, miles per hour, I'll have miles on top and hours on the bottom. When I perform the calculation, I get about 767 miles per hour for that unit conversion. Now, maybe you're curious or somebody is curious about the speed of the Earth in its orbit around the Sun, and you decide to treat the Earth's orbit as a circle. In that case, the speed, I'll use a V, we use V for velocity in physics, but we also use it for speed. And the speed would equal the circumference of the orbit, that'll be 2 pi times the radius of it, divided by how long it takes. This is just distance divided by time, and that's speed. Okay, well, we know that the radius of the orbit happens to be one astronomical unit, and the time that it takes the Earth to orbit happens to be one year. And so, if we wanted it in particular units, I'd have 2 times pi times 1 AU. Maybe you've never even heard of that unit before. It happens to be the approximate radius of the Earth's orbit, divided by one year. And if I multiplied that out, 2 times pi is about 6.28 times 1. I'd get 6.28 astronomical units per year. But that's not particularly informative. And you may have a friend that says, well, how fast is that in meters per second? So we'll figure that out in meters per second. To do that, I have to know a couple of conversions. One thing I have to know is that one astronomical unit is equal to 1.496 times 10 to the 11th meters. That's an astronomical unit. I have to know that one year is equal to 365.25 days. One day equals 24 hours. And I used something up here before that one hour is 3600 seconds. So I need to use all of these things to be able to convert from astronomical units per year to meters per second. 
and let's figure this out. Okay, first I'll get rid of the astronomical units. Since the astronomical units here are on top of a fraction, in my conversion I have to put them on the bottom. So my 1 AU goes on the bottom, and my 1.496 times 10 to the 11th meters goes on top. So there's my first funny looking one. Top and bottom are equal, so their ratio is 1. Alright, now I'd better start getting rid of the years. Well, one year is 365.25 days. Here the years are on the bottom of a fraction. I have to put them on the top. So one year on top, 365.25 days on the bottom. This is going to be a long conversion here. All right, well that gets rid of the years, but I need to get rid of those days now because I want seconds. So I put in here, I've got that uh, one day is equal to 24 hours. I've got days on the bottom, so if I put one day up here, and I'll just use D for day, over 24 hours, I'm getting there. Now, days would divide out. I've got hours here. I want to get rid of those and get to seconds. If I put one hour on top and 3,600 seconds on the bottom, one hour, 3,600 seconds on the bottom. Now I'm going to go through and cross out everything that divides out. AU divides out. Years divide out. Days divide out. Hours divide out. The only things left unit-wise are meters on top and seconds on the bottom. So if I multiply all those things out, I'll have meters per second for a speed. And let's find out what it is. Since I can only keep three significant figures here, uh, 6.28 is my least accurate number, and that's just because I happen to remember 2 pi is equal to that. My result is 2.98 times 10 to the fourth meters per second. That's 29,800 meters per second. So there was a multi-step one right there that's pretty long. And that's about as long a conversion as you'd want to do. So that's how you do multi-step unit conversions.